All right, folks. This is a 2013 Honda Civic with a four-cylinder. Because the complaint is sometimes it doesn't want to start. All right, so let's see here. Let's take the key. Watch the dash. Let's see if it dims out. Did you hear that? It wants to start like very, very slow. So that's usually a bad battery you should run try again listen up all right so before we go condemn the battery right away let's go check the charging system so let's take you outside oops let's take you outside a little Milton battery and Charging system tester. It's hooked up. Charging system is okay. 14 and a half. Uh, there's a red flag there on your negative side. You can see all the uh, corrosion. That's something you have to look into and clean. Yeah. You can also check it with a meter. Okay, got a voltmeter, multimeter. Same thing. Check to see uh, how many volts it is. Pick up the meter. Positive. Negative. And we reach 14.3. So the charging is good. The alternator over there is perfect. Now I want to do a little test on the battery. I'm going to shut it off. Like I said, that's a red flag right there. The corrosion will make it a bad connection right there. So even if the alternator was charging, it might not be charging back to the battery correctly. And that will kill the battery. Alright, let's shut it off and we'll put a little low test on it. Alright, so connect that. Connect the positive. Make sure it's got a nice bite. Shows about 13 volts, give or take. All right, so with the way this particular model works, is you just have to connect it. Make sure you got a good connection. I'm gonna hold this load tester button, no more than 10 seconds, okay? And you're gonna see it read. It stays in the green, battery's good. Yellow, of course, is weak. Eight is bad, right? So what this is, is this is going to actually put a low test on the battery like as though you're starting it, okay? So it's going to see how much it's going to drain out. Let's take a look together. Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. So it shows weak around nine. So we don't know the age of the battery. So we are going to change the battery for safety's sake. And of course, you know, you don't want to uh, get stuck anywhere. All right, and you can charge it up, but then you're taking another gamble in case it dies again, in case the battery is no good. All right, so off to the zone. I want to get a nice uh, three-year battery. All right. All right, folks. Let me change the battery on this 2013 Honda Civic. Pretty much everything is going to be a 10 millimeter. All right, so right here you got the positive cable, you got the negative cable. The negative cable is actually frozen on there. So always take the negative first out before you take the positive. So on the negative side, take the little 10 millimeter nut off. What I had to do was I had to get a little screwdriver, get a small little hammer, and tap it right in here. And you want to lift this piece up. Okay, you want to break this piece apart. But it's all corroded. And once you do that, it separates and you're able to lift this up and out of the way. All right, you see how it's frozen? This piece here is like a wedge. Okay, when you tighten up the nut, this goes and squeezes it up. That's why it's a wedge here. See how it, so when it comes up, it squeezes it together. So stick a little screwdriver in there and just separate this. Then this will split like that. You're ready to get this out. All right, gotta clean this all up. It's powder everywhere. 
All right, get it out of the way. Next one is the next 10 millimeter, which is for your positive. All right, that comes off pretty easy. Get this off to the side. There's a little clip here. I guess it was broken at one time. Get that off. This one actually hooks on this one. Now, when you get to the battery hold down, if you look at the bolts, that one's pretty rusty. That might snap. You spray a little WD-40 on there just to loosen it up. But expect it, it might snap. So if you don't want to snap anything right now, grab the one that does loosen up, which is this one here. This one here, loosen up as much as you can. And what we're going to do is going to try to unhook it off that hook in here. Just spin it out of the way. There you go. And get the whole assembly to come out. All right. Once you get it all come out, to come out, there it is. Okay. Then you can work on that stud. Soak it because you don't want to snap it. I mean, they sell universal ones at AutoZone or whatever, but if you don't feel like snapping it, today's not a good time. Nice and cold. All right. And here's the battery. All right. There's a little cover for it, a little shield. It's made out of plastic, so it doesn't really serve any purpose. On the other cars, Sometimes it's like a little heater, a little blanket. Keeps it nice and warm. All right, and there it is. There's the battery. You lift it up. Don't get that stuff all over your hands. Bring it to your local store, wherever you want to buy it from. Me, personally, I like the AutoZone three-year ones. They work just fine. All right, and to put it back, same thing. Put your battery in there. Put your cover in there. Put your little retainer in. Make sure they're hooked hooked make it nice and tight clean all the terminals okay you could buy that little uh, felt things that they sell at AutoZone like three four bucks it goes over each terminal and the corrosion actually comes from the little gap over here it's a little gap where this terminal comes out from and that's where the uh, gases come out all right so the felt actually covers it up and that'll kind of absorb all those gases and stuff and the moisture to kind of prevent that from happening again okay so felt things going there then it'll give you a little vaseline to put over it but yeah nice wire brush is going to be your friend clean this all up all right because you don't need all this stuff all right so there you go off those off. all right according to this battery date and this code here 517 uh it's a may 17 batteries 2021 it's like four and a half years old so yeah yeah time for a new one and look at that it's all corroded all shot right three year free replacement it just passed that by a year all right you can see it's all corroded time for a new one no saving this one not even worth recharging So here's the uh, Duralast battery, gold. It's a three-year warranty. Yeah, it's about $180. And like I said, another $3.50, you get yourself a little battery installation kit, which is uh, petroleum jelly and these little felt washers. These felt washers will go right over the terminals. Okay. There you go. They come with different sizes. Listen, when you change the batteries, don't forget to take these caps off. You'd be sorry. Oh, I gotta go fetch it. Damn it. All right. You'd be surprised how many people leave these things on, especially if it's a black cover. Then they put the terminal on because, hey, the car doesn't stop. Yeah, I wonder why. All right, let me get that felt thing. All right. You ever remember that tool that uh, you figured you would never use and you don't want to buy it? It's like little three fingers with a little uh, button so you can grab things. You figure never in your life you're going to use one of those things. But you buy the magnet one, you know. But in this job, yes. You need that tool in there. You have to grade three fingers to grab this little felt washer. So, next time I'm in the store, that's what I want to buy. But anyway, red one goes on the positive side. There you go. Okay. Then we're going to hook up the positive first. All right. We're going to wiggle it on. We're going to tighten it. And then we're going to go and do the negative so let's move this over to the side make sure it's nice and tight set the switch hands here for you guys
Don't forget, you guys know why you take the negative off first, right? Because if you're playing with this and you accidentally hit the ground, you don't get shocked. So negative comes off first, negative goes back on last. All right, there's that. And this one's gonna go on. Got the little cover over here, I see. All right, goes in a certain way. I'm gonna go on a specific angle there. Okay, make sure it's all the way down. I want to tighten a little bit more. Okay. I'm gonna draw that wedge up. I'm just gonna squeeze this terminal tight. All right, there's your insulation. All right, your 10 millimeters tightens that back up. This piece goes in here. To that. Say this one's broken here. So we can get a little wire tie and we'll just tie that up out of the way for the customer. All right, and in here it's got the uh, petroleum jelly. I'm gonna put that all over it so I can get that on my finger here. All right, just put it on your finger and just splatter it everywhere. There's enough in there to do terminals, the sides, everything. There you go, you're all set. All right, thanks for watching.